Wooden tools from 300,000 years ago have been discovered. Archaeologists have discovered a set in southwest China wooden tools from 300,000 years ago. Among 35 artifacts made of hardwood are digging instruments, hooks and small hand tools. These finds indicate that the Paleolithic inhabitants of today's China enlarged the measures depended on the plants in their diet. Made of wood, the tools were discovered in oxygen populous sediments on the shores of the ancient lake in Gontanking, an archaeological site in southwest province of Junnan, China. It's because of these settlements the artifacts have been preserved in good condition to our times. You can see on the tools even traces of polishing. The remains of plants and soil have also survived, which researchers tips on the functions of the tools. Results and description of the tests of ancient instruments appeared on the magazine Science. The diverse collection of wooden tools has been dated various techniques for a period of about 361,000 years to about 250,000 years. The stand in Gontanking dates back to about 200,000 years, but wooden the tools were extracted from layers dating back to about 300,000 years. This is the earliest known evidence of complex production technology wooden tools in East Asia. The findings indicate that these tools were not used for hunting, but for digging and processing plants. Gontanking was discovered in the 1980s. The last century. Thousands of pieces of wood were found on the excavations on space only a few square meters. Although our ancestors they have been robbing wood for more than a million years, artifacts from this material are quite enough rare in the fossil record. Mainly because the items of wood quickly they decompose and in order to survive a really long time, they must have special the terms and conditions. And such provided oxygen poor sediments from the lake shore. Most of the ancient wooden tools found in Africa and Western Eurasia, and among the notable examples are spears and throwing sticks from Germany and the UK, dated to about 300,000-400,000 years back as well as structural elements such as braided logs from Zambia and wooden boards and key for dig from Israel and Italy. Discovery of wooden tools sheds light on advanced cognitive skills of East Asian hominins and their plant-based diet. It also highlights their surprising technological skills at a time when the region this was allegedly inhabited by primitive communities. The discovered collection consists of 35 wooden artifacts, which show clear signs of shaping and use, including traces of carving and smoothing out. Most of them were made of pine wood. The tools they are characterized by various forms and functions. Among them are large, two-handed digging sticks, but also smaller hand tools and even tools resembling hooks potentially used to cut plant roots. Compared to other famous wooden stands tools in Europe that are usually medium-sized hunting equipment, tools found in China are distinguished by a wider and more diverse assortment of small, handheld tools. A detailed analysis revealed soil residues on the edges of the tools, which indicates their use for digging or extraction of underground parts of plants such as tubers and roots. Scientists and scientists they indicate that the wooden instruments were made and carved from branches or tree roots with stone tools. Stone tools are rare in fossil record with Asia. Some archaeologists have explained this contrast with the lack of sophistication side of Asian hominins. Others have proposed an alternative explanation it is sometimes called the bamboo hypothesis. Perhaps the ancestors of people in Asia used organic materials for the manufacture of tools such as bamboo and wood, and these materials are poorly endured by the passage of time. Gontanking's position can be one of the few exceptions. Approximately 300,000 years ago, 
there was a central one in Europe Paleolithic, when the technology of stone tools developed quickly, but in East Asian stone artifacts have undergone minor changes until they arrived modern humans 40,000-45,000 years ago, said Professor Bo Lee University of Wollongong in Australia, CEO author of the new study. The assumption was such that technological innovations have lagged behind in this part of the world, but this discovery changes our understanding of the technique used in East Asia. Few animal bones were found in the site, hence the researchers' conclusion that the meat in the menu of the group that produced wooden tools, it was probably an occasional addition. The diet of these hominins was nutritious and to a large extent vegetarian. Remains of peanuts were found at the site pine, hazel, grapes, kiwis and tubers of aquatic plants. In the lake and along its muddy edge, early hominins could also pick up and eat leaves and seeds of water lilies and obtain other edible roots and rhizomes. For the first time we have found such an old stand with evidence that hominins exploited an underground food source. This group hominins knew which plants are edible and which were not and sought by those plants with wooden tools, said Foley. Why ancient hominins collected plants rather than hunted for game, like their cousins from Europe? Scientists suggest these groups they lived in subtropical forests, which probably offered more abundance and diversity of edible vegetation. This discovery undermines previous assumptions about early adaptation of man. While contemporary European physicians, such as Skernan in Germany, focused on hunting large mammals, Gontanking reveals a unique plant-based survival strategy, say Lee. As for the more intriguing question who did tools, Bo Lee says, the most likely candidate is the Denisovans.